This is a story about how the great nations of the world have failed the world's poorest countries. At the United Nations Conference on the Least Developed Countries in Doha on March 5th of 2023, leaders of the world's poorest nations poured out their disappointment and bitterness at not having received the assistance they need to escape poverty and fight the effects of climate change. Central African Republic's president spoke out against Western powers, saying his resource-rich nation of 5.5 million people had been looted since independence some 60 years before. He pointed to vast reserves of gold, diamonds, cobalt, oil and uranium, asking why, despite these resources, his nation remained so impoverished. The UN Secretary-General, Antonio Guterres, also spoke out on the issue, making an impassioned plea for $500 billion to be committed to social and economic transformation. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina echoed Guterres' call for aid, urging the international community to renew their commitment to helping the least developed countries. Meanwhile, President Hakind Hichilma of Zambia asserted that providing the necessary financing was a matter of credibility. Nepal Deputy Prime Minister Narayan Kaji Shrestha called on the industrialized nations to fulfill their promise of handing over $100 billion a year to assist with efforts to counter global warming. So far, there has been no major announcement of financial aid from the developed world. Qatar made an announcement of $60 million being given to United Nations programs, but this paltry sum is not enough. Leaders of the world's major economies have been conspicuously absent from debate at the summit, which will last for four more days. The world's greatest nations must understand the urgent need of the world's weakest. If they are to escape poverty and find the means to fight climate change, they must be given the assistance they need. This must start now, with a strong financial commitment from the great powers of the world. Help given a voice to the world's poorest and share this story with your friends and family to urge support for the UN Conference on the Least Developed Countries. Together, we can make a difference.